Ten Questions to the Zionists by Rabbi Michael Dov Wiesmandel if you want to understand what world Zionism did to the Jews of Europe. As David said, and as we've said for many, many years here, honest Jews have been sacrificed, they have been persecuted, and sold out by Zionists from day one. One of the key pushes for Zionism was the takeover and the overall influence of organized Jewry through the synagogues around the world to keep the Jews in check so they could control them. And they are absolutely ruthless about it. Make no mistake. Go ahead, David, please. Well, you know, when you look at this, um, uh, yeah, I talked earlier about the elephant in the living room, and it really is, because if you look at the um, the network that controlled the Bush administration, which is supposed to be so different to the Obama administration, the neocons, as they were called, called yeah. the, the, mm-hmm. the, the, the pearls and the crystals and, yep. and, and the, 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 the other ones, the uh, Wolfowitz, uh, again, Wolfowitz, he was head of the World Bank before Zoloch. I mean, crikey, I mean, where are we going with this? Zionists everywhere in key positions of power. They were awash, completely dominated by Zionists, the neocons, that was controlling Bush. And then we go over to an administration that's supposed to be different, a Democrat administration, and it's exactly the same. The Zionists are different, but the controlling force, the Rothschilds, um, remains the same. Look at the comptroller of the cur- the uh, currency for the Pentagon, uh, Zakheim. Two yeah. or three trillion dollars disappeared under his stewardship, which was being investigated just before 9/11. I mean, it could go, we could go on for hours. Please go ahead. Yeah, wherever you look, and what what the Rothschilds did um, was to create organizations like the Anti-Defamation League, uh, B'nai B'rith, and all these other um, organizations to target anyone as racist if they started to expose this pattern that we're talking about here. Um, And so um, so many researchers will not go into these areas we're talking about because they're terrified of being dubbed uh, racist. And and, and it can be really uh, vicious and extremely destructive because, of course, the public that will, you know, believe anything, uh, uh, massive numbers of them anyway, also believe that someone's racist just because <laughs> someone's saying they are. Sure. But they don't do investigate. Well, what's nope. this guy actually saying? Nope. And and so you've got this um, fear factor which has stopped researchers into this actually seeing the elephant in the living room. Um, and, and I will not bow to this. It's, it, it's blatantly obvious that there is a, a extraordinary imbalance in those that occupy the positions of power, not just in America, although that's a, a blatant example, but, but in other countries in, in Europe and elsewhere as well, and it needs to be exposed because this is not attacking Jewish people. It is exposing the Rothschilds who have treated Jewish people as a whole with the most grotesque, um, horrific um, uh, methods over the years, because to them, to the Rothschilds, Jewish people are just cattle like everyone else, and to be used and abused as it suits their agenda. Right. Right. I would urge all of you to do some reading, some research uh, on rents.com. I've got a, a terrific section on Zionism. Theodore Herzl, when he came up with the concept, knew what he was doing. And again, part of the agenda was to try to put a blanket of control over orthodox or normal Jews, to keep them all in line and then to use them as a convenience to sacrifice them whenever it was needed. And they've done that ever since. Imagine being a family, a powerful family, a a dynasty like this, David, and and having your own country, uh, which is the world's fourth ranking or fifth thermonuclear power, which has missiles, submarines, as much money as it wants from the United States, not a penny of the so-called loans to Israel will ever be repaid, never have been, not going to happen. So you have literally a private family, an enterprise, a criminal syndicate, owning a company which is called the State of Israel, the Zionist State of Israel, and there are a lot of great Jews in Israel who are fighting against this, this horrible yoke. And they have their own thermonuclear weapons. And that's why the U.S. Air Force paper on my website must be read by everyone. It's called Zionist Thermonuclear Blackmail of the United States. 
It's been going on for decades. They blackmail anybody. These people know no bounds, answer to no one, and have nothing to do with any kind of moral limitation or moral environment that we live in and occupy. Yeah, and it's extraordinary when you think that there is this agreement, which apparently Obama has just agreed to continue, where no one talks about the fact that Israel is a nuclear power. Um, it's just no one <laughs> says it is, no Nothing. one says it isn't. You just don't say anything. That's right. Of course, Mordecai Benunu, who um, uh, a very, Hero. very brave Hero. Israeli, um, yeah. who uh, exposed the fact that uh, Israel had nuclear weapons, um, he, he was um, uh, taken um, into custody and uh, put into jail for, I think it was 18 years and is still subject to, to restriction just right. for speaking the truth. Yep. Yep. And, uh, you know, when you start to understand this common theme, this Rothschild network called Zionism, then you start to realize why um, Israel gets such enormous uh, funding from the United States, because it controls the United States and the decisions that fund Israel. And this is why Israel has the second biggest F-16 fleet outside America. Look at the size of the place. I nearly, I nearly uh, drove around it in a day once. Um, and, and it's all about the Rothschilds. It's not about Jewish people. And we need to break that connection because that connection is what holds this thing together. It's the big well, lie. That perception of the connection holds sure it, it is. together. It's the big lie. It's the ultimate deception. Exactly. Uh, you're hearing things tonight that some of you may not have heard before. We we hope you'll entertain it and pursue it and explore it further. Uh, I can guarantee you also, and David probably would back me on this, that unfortunately many young Jews, male and female, in their 20s especially, have bought into the Zionist con. They are rabid. They think Israel is God's gift to the planet. And they do believe that they are the chosen. And no, no one can tell me that, that uh, there is a chosen group on this planet. We're all chosen, as it were. We're all equal in that sense. Uh, anybody who belongs to a club and says that they're better than I am, are, you know, they're, well, good luck. That's all I can say. Well, you also, you also have the um, uh, tremendous hypocrisy and contradiction that it's, it's okay to say you're a chosen people. Uh, if you're a, a Zionist, but if you uh, say you're a chosen people and you're a white American, you're a white supremacist. Now, what what I say is you're both equally mistaken. You're you're absolutely right, Jeff. There are no chosen people. There's just consciousness having an experience. The physical body is uh, is the the perception of self that actually divides and rules. Mm -hmm. It's just a vehicle to experience. Mm -hmm. And once you have supremacism in any Form, whether it's white supremacism or Zionist supremacism, then you're dealing with people who are fundamentally uh, mistaken and bewildered in terms of the, the nature of reality and life itself. Sure. But, but, but that's fine. You know, we have a right to be wrong. It's a fundamental human right which must be protected. But what we, what we, we should have is an equal playing field where when one says something, it's allowed to go without question, and when someone else says something, suddenly you are uh, subject to imprisonment and, and being called racist. And, and put in prison. Yeah, exactly. And there are prisoners right now uh, who have said nothing less than uh, the world as they perceive it in their own words, and they have been imprisoned.